Streamers, I hope you are well. Today, we are going to be going over a very, very important topic. Today, I am going to tell you a story about how I write for Yum's Lore. Now, I don't know how many of you are curious how I write lore. I don't. I really don't. Um, but I do want to talk about it because I feel like it's super important. Okay? So, we are going to start with my uh, my story that I wrote uh, this year called Luck of the Draw. Now, if no one's read it before, okay, um, it's, it's a basically this whole story where I have rewritten some lore. I've rewritten some lore. Um, the whole story focuses on the Realm Keepers, um, which is a TCG storyline in-game. Um, I want to do flush these characters out and tell their story, you know, the way I think it should have been told. Um, I would love this for this to be canon, but, you know, obviously that's, I mean, that can't happen, you know. Um, but, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think I, I, I really, like, with my writing, I really, like, I got into writing this year and it was because of Free Elms. But I loved writing the story, and I think it was a perfect story start to finish. I mean, you can argue it wasn't. You can argue that it's a fanfic. I mean, I loved writing it, dude. It's so good. Like, start to finish, if you read it, if you haven't read it, like, obviously, I'll leave a link in the description. It's such a good read, okay? You'll probably even, like, appreciate TCG more by reading it, and you'll love the characters even more. Um. But yeah, I felt like it was a story that I really wanted to tell, and it was perfect, um, to me anyway. But, yeah, um, Luck of the Draw is, it's a story, man. It's crazy. It's wild. There's a lot in it. There's so many chapters. It's 174 pages in total. Um, and yeah, so, basically, how I write my lore is I start with ideas you know obviously that's how that's how everything kind of works you start with ideas and you go from there um i can actually pull up there we go um so i actually put everything idea wise into a notepad like i write down characters that need to be in the story themes that need to be in the story um because that's how i'm kind of doing it with sunrise stories i'm just like throwing characters in that need to be there, um, that fit with the theme. And yeah, but I don't, I don't start with that. I start with actually the FR wiki up. So this is where I start, right? I start here. Um, oh, th that's cool. Um, I start here and then like, I, I basically look up what I need. Um, and I've already got some ideas for after summarize stories, but yeah. Um, this is a great place to find any information on Free Elms. Some people would argue it's not. I don't care. It's literally like it's the most convenient site to look up Free Elms stuff. It always comes up. And yeah, I use that to get most of my information. Now, I don't like, you know, I, I, I go from here, but I also like there's another source I actually go to, which not a lot of people would do. Not a lot of people have this source because I do. Um, it's not super hard to get access to, um, this year I'll pull, I'll pull it up. Um, and I love how most, like most of my images here are literally just free elms, but yeah. So I have access to, from Wix, Yrox, it's either Wix or Yrox. I think it's Yrox. I could be getting that wrong, but his TCG server has files to TCG cards, right? So I can literally go into a folder, any of them. Like, I have access to all these cards. And, like, for example, um, so this, char this card, there's no character name, right? There's nothing. No character name whatsoever. I made up a name for this character, um, her name is Talia. She pull, she's in Luck of the Draw. She's literally at the beginning of the story. Um, she's one of the main characters. And the whole SRS Geomancer thing, 
I played that into the lore as well, like into what I wrote. I made this character so valuable in the story that you just, it's crazy that a card, no name, like became a character. The only reason I did this is because Talia was holding the, um, the, I forgot what it's called. Um, the Gloamstone, I think it's what it's called. That's the only reason, like, I built, most of my story was, it started with this TCG card. But, yeah, a lot of my lore comes from TCG cards, which is why, I like, the whole luck of the draw story is, it's not centered around TCG, right? But it has themes of TCG in it. I thought that was, like, the perfect place to start. Um, and Summarize Story doesn't include a lot of that. It's just I'm getting my information from cards and, like, I, this, it's also how I get, like, um, like, I have a TCG artwork folder. So it's artwork from literally all the cards in that other folder. So I could just pull an image and use it in Luck of the, in Luck of the Draw. So, like, give me one second. I will show you what I mean. So going back to Luck of the Draw, right? So Luck of the Draw has images like this. So you can go and look in that folder. I'm not going to go look right now, but this is what Bryce actually looks like. I'm not even kidding. All of the Realm Keepers in the TCG artwork, they have their own artwork. Um, so we can, like, I'll scroll down to, um, we'll go to Jessica. Jessica literally has her own artwork. That is Jessica. And you can tell because if you go to Crackshot, the crack shot chapter. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. It's literally her. Same character, same everything. The same thing with Nathan or Mage Tech. He's got his own. He's got his own artwork. It's crazy. It's wild. And this is how I started the story, just introducing all the characters. Um. See, look, he's got his own artwork. It's insane. Like that's how I did my research with the TCG cards, with all that information. And obviously the Free Realms Wiki. I got more information from there. Um, but yeah, so it, it's kind of wild um, that literally all that information is there. It's just there, you know? That's how I wrote on my lore. Just from cards and from the Wikia. Um, but the other thing is, like, I do a lot of my lore, like, a lot of the stuff in Free Realms lore I don't like. There's a, there was a couple of things I didn't like, like the whole Gloam Invasion thing. I believe how it started was like the kid-friendly version of it was like, um, what, they, the, I believe it was the Pixies and the Dwarves, or I guess the Dwarves started like, they kept riding their mo motorbikes around like Sunstone Valley and causing like emissions or something. And then crystal just sprouted from the ground, causing the whole gloom invasion, gloom event, or whatever. I thought that was silly. Like, I, I feel like it's that was so random. Like, there's no way crystal, there's no way like fumes could cause crystals to come from the ground. I rewrote that, and I'm not gonna spoil it because it's it's in that lore, it's in the story. I include the gloom invasion into it, but I start it differently. Like, it gets started completely differently um but yeah basically i i bring in my own ideas and i rewrite where needed that's the that's the whole thing so if you're interested in my lore um give it a read i i do recommend it because it is it's really good i loved writing it the whole way through um i was just so inspired for the story too because i love the realm keepers i love tcg it's such a it's so good it's so good. And even though I'm not like, I'm not a creative writer on the staff team yet. I want to be. I don't think it's going to happen. But if it doesn't happen, I mean, it's it's their loss. Because I, I think I really have, like, I've written something great here. And I, I do want them to see that. That would be super cool. But I'm not going to complain if it doesn't happen. Um, I'll still be, even if I don't get creative writer, even if I'm not on the creative writing team, um... I'll still be writing. I don't care. Like, I'll, I'll still be writing some of my stories. I'll probably, like, I'll write the next story after that. And then, I don't know, like, I'll think about continuing after that. Um, 
that's definitely where I'm going to be like, have I written enough or should I write more? Um, but yeah, I, I'm super excited to keep writing. Um, that's definitely going to be working on 2023. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did, I appreciate it a ton. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,